that I don't have any walls in my office space. <laughs> For these ski patrollers, mountain life is daily life. Looks amazing up here. And I think the first time I put skis on was when I was two years old. I love the mountains. The ladies have turned their passion into intense careers, and they are not alone. At 9,050 elevation, 6,000 acres of skiable terrain, Squaw Alpine has 13 ski patrol ladies keeping you safe. The women are moving into this field traditionally dominated by men. Growing up, when I saw ski patrollers, they were all crusty old men, and I never would have thought about doing it as a job. When I first came on board here at Squaw, there was just a handful of us women. That is all changing. To be a woman, you know, in 2016 is pretty exciting and pretty amazing and pretty empowering. Lel says it helps to have an incredible team, women and men alike. I don't know, you just feel very safe and comfortable and well supported and that's what makes you perform well. Even when it means having to rescue a loved one. I heard over the radio. 50-something-year-old Steve. I was like, no. <laughs> Steve is Hannah's dad. I was panicking, and I was crying, and I met up with one of the more senior patrollers, and he was like, you can go, but get your act together. So I was like, okay, I can do this. <laughs> so. And she did. We have a really strong bond in the patrol. It's kind of unique, I think, to any other job. We really are like a family. A family always looking for another adventurous member. Hopefully we're spreading the word and maybe we'll have 20 women next year. <laughs> so between the two resort, resorts, between Squaw Alpine and uh, Squaw Valley, rather, and Alpine Meadows, 13 ladies on the ski patrol. Lel Tone, who you just met in that story, along with Robin McElroy. So Lel grew up skiing in the Swiss Alps. Robin, you grew up in Anchorage, Alaska, skiing. Um, now, we have the calendar that we're showing everyone here this morning. Um, Robin, we're going to talk more about that in the 9 o'clock hour, but just briefly tell people what the money raised is going to go toward. We're raising money for avalanche education scholarships for locals in our community. So we want to get more people education so that they can be safer in the mountains. And, well, safety is so important when it comes to spending time up in the mountains. Absolutely. There's a lot to know when working in the mountain environment and with snow. So, as Robin mentioned, it's really important to get our community educated and get them to have open eyes and therefore there can be kind of an active participant in our mountain environment. So uh, one of the things we didn't get to in that story uh, was just how intense your days really can be because when we were up there with you it was really kind of a light day. I mean we were just the pretty much the only ones on the mountain for a portion of the day. Um, but a typical day for you Robin, what is it, what is it like? Um, <laughs> it starts usually pretty early in the morning if it's a snow day, then we get to go out extra early while it's still dark out, and we get to cause avalanches so that the mountain's safe for everybody once they get there. And then we go around and make sure all the slow banners are up and interact with guests all day, make sure everyone's having a good time. And yeah, ski around, make sure everyone's safe. Just keeping everybody smooth sailing. So, Lel, you, we mentioned in the story, you, when you first started off on Ski Patrol, were one of the, the very few women. Now you've watched the dynamics really change, and women are becoming just more present in the field. I, I love what I'm seeing, especially in outdoor sports or in very male-dominated workplaces as the women are starting to hold their own in these environments and I think the greatest thing about it is you know proving yourself um, I think it's amazing to make uh, make your way by proving proving yourself with your skills and your strengths and I'm seeing that happening every year more and more women coming in I think it's helpful to have female mentors you know to to see uh, other women in the workplace and think wow maybe that's something I can do too so and that's, great. You know, that's one of the really special things about the Squaw Alpine Ski Patrol. You have women of all um, ranges of ability. Uh, Hannah, one of the girls you saw in the video, she just started off. She's one of the rookies. So coming up in the 9 o'clock hour, we're going to talk a little bit more about this particular photo, the cover shoot, what it took to get those ladies. Yeah, and by the way, the ones on the very, very tippy tip top <laughs> right up here. Yeah. Those are these two adventure yeah, seekers right here. <laughs> these wild women. So stick around and we will introduce you to the amazing photographer, Kyoki Flagg, who 
was able to capture that. Marianne, back to you. For a group for, for an amazing group.